year eight students, parents and caregivers. My name is Miss Brownie and I'm the language faculty coordinator at Gosford High School. This is a short presentation to give you more information about year nine French studies in year nine and ten. At Gosford High School we have two French teachers in the language faculty, myself and Mrs Fryers. Sometimes people think that with Google Translate we no longer need to learn languages because we can use Google Translate and other tools to do the work for us. But just like the invention of the calculator didn't spell the death of maths, it remains very important to learn another language, and in fact most of the world can speak two or more languages. Students often ask us who studies languages. Is it, is it humanities students? Is it science students? In fact, it's everyone. Data from NESA from the HSC shows that language patterns of study come from students who study all subject areas. All major universities also now allow students to add a certificate or diploma in languages to their main degree, recognising the importance of language skills for all career areas. Language study at HSC level also attracts ATAR bonus points for most universities. At Gosford High School, more than 60 Year 9 students are currently studying Japanese or French, and in Year 11 and 12, about 50 students in each year group are studying either French, Japanese or Spanish. Languages can take you anywhere you'd like to go, just like having a driving licence. In New South Wales, there are different pathways for language study. In Year 8, all students must study 100 hours of one language. Then in Year 9 and 10, students may choose languages as an elective subject. So for French, that is a 200 hour elective subject to be studied in both Year 9 and Year 10. Having studied French in Year 9 and 10, students can then continue on to the aptly named French Continuous course in Year 11 and 12, and perhaps even choose to study French Extension in Year 12 as an additional unit. We are not offering a 100 hour elective for French, um, so it's just the 200 hour option. If students don't choose to study a language in Year 9 and 10, they can potentially come back to language study in Year 11 and 12 by doing a beginner's course. So we do offer from time to time the French beginner's course. However, we strongly recommend that students study the Year 9 and 10 French course as this will lead to the highest level of language proficiency and give them the most time possible to develop their skills. Australian students choose languages for a variety of different reasons according to research done in 2015. You can pause the video here and have a read through. We often get asked when is the best time to learn a language. Obviously the earlier the better for pronunciation and native-like accent, but adults can learn a language to fluency as well as children. However, learning a language does require time and commitment, and during formal education is when you have the most time available, even if it doesn't feel that way. Learning a language during high school is also the only time it's going to be free. For example, the language courses at the Alliance Francaise are about $600 for 32 hours of study. So to gain the equivalent hours of study as the year 8 to 12 French course offered at school would cost you about $10,000. So it's a significant saving to learn a language sooner rather than later. More languages lead to more opportunities. 62% of adult Australians wish they had learnt another language growing up. And knowing other languages leads to more authentic and cheaper travel experiences. If you can communicate in the language of the country you're travelling in, you don't have to rely on somebody else to communicate for you and you can have more interesting experiences. In Europe, 54% of Europeans can have a conversation in at least one additional language and many can hold a conversation in two or even three. So thinking about a global job market and global travel opportunities, it's important to be competitive. So if I'm going to learn a foreign language, why should it be French? French is the second most widely studied language in Australia after Japanese. It's the official language of 29 countries across Europe, Africa, North America and Oceania and it's predicted to be the most widely spoken global language by 2050 because of global demographic changes. Trade and investment links between France and Australia alone are quite significant. This slide only talks about Australia and France. There are 28 other French speaking countries that I have not included. I'm not going to read through this so if you'd like to read the details please pause. You may be familiar with the brands on this slide. Knowing French gives you opportunities to work in fashion, media, stationery, travel, technology, all different areas. Whatever your interests are, there's a career that could involve French as well. And all of these brands have a global presence. At Gosford High School, we try to offer our students as many opportunities outside of the classroom as possible to build a connection with French speaking students and French speaking countries. In the past, we've had exchanges with our New Caledonian sister school, 
where students come to Australia and we try to organise trips to New Caledonia. Um, obviously this is difficult with COVID, but we are hoping to um, restart those trips very, very soon. In the absence of travel, we also have the chance to communicate uh, via pen pal exchanges, video conferencing and other opportunities. We also get students um, down to Sydney for the Alliance Francaise for immersion workshops. We have cooking classes, um, theatre workshops, all different things are available to give students the chance to use language in an authentic setting. So how do I, what do I need to do to be successful? How do I have to study? Basically, it's just to keep doing what you've been doing. If you've been enjoying French so far and you've been successful in your assessment tasks um, in term one and two, that's unlikely to change. Learning a language is all about gradual learning. Consistency and commitment lead to success. The topics we cover both personal and practical. It's really all just about your life. You are the content. You don't have to learn facts and figures or memorize dates or events or anything like that. There are no essays, research tasks, major works or portfolios. The assessment style is very similar to what you've done so far in year eight. Listening, reading, writing and speaking. Nothing wrong with essays and all the rest of it, but that's not what our subject does. You are also allowed to use dictionaries in the HSC if you need them. Almost all of our students who study a language to the HSC obtain results in the top two bands and we often have students come in the first five, top five in the state, particularly in French. Stage five French is, as I said, a 200 hour course. There is no 100 hour option. It's five periods a fortnight and the more French you learn, the more we use French in the classroom to communicate. Stage five, followed by stage six, gives you practical language skills that you can apply to work, further study, training or leisure. By the end of year 12 study of French, you'd be able to watch TV shows in French on Netflix, read a novel in French, listen to French music and understand the lyrics, and so on and so forth. Our courses are designed to prepare students for senior studies with a progressive development of skills and no sharp changes in difficulty. If you'd like to know what level of skill you'll develop, the best way is to go and listen to an HSC student speak. So if you use this QR code, you can listen to a student who got 20 out of 20 for their speaking exam for the HSC, and you can also listen to the audio for the listening comprehension component of the HSC exam. Of course, you won't understand it all now, but it gives you an idea of the fluency that you'll develop by the end of year 12. In stage six, which is year 11 and 12, you'll be able to express your thoughts in French almost as well as you can in English. You can do persuasive writing, creative writing, analytical and evaluative writing tasks, demonstrate your critical thinking skills in French, and the topics that you cover are relevant personal and global issues, things like turning 18, getting your license, plans, hopes and dreams for the future, and different social and environmental issues. In terms of global um, language proficiency levels, our syllabuses don't align officially to the CEFR, Common European Framework, but approximately a B1 or B2 level is where continuous will get you by the end of year 12. That means you'll be able to understand the main points of clear standard input on familiar matters regularly encountered in work, school, leisure, etc. Deal with most situations likely to arise while traveling in an area where the language is spoken. Produce simple connected text on topics which are familiar or of personal interest. Describe experiences and events, dreams, hopes and ambitions, and give reasons and explanations for opinions and plans. Many of our students are also starting to work into the B2 space, which you can read through as well yourself. In Year 9 and 10, the topics below are some of those which we cover, but they're quite flexible and open to student input in what we do. Our syllabus doesn't dictate any particular topics or themes for us to cover, so students are able to choose uh, the topics that most interest them and how much time they'd like to spend on them. We often survey our students and ask for their feedback to improve our teaching and their learning experience. So here you can see some example data from student feedback in our courses. So languages plus anything broaden your horizons and give you a skill that can be used in any industry in the future. If you have any further questions, please come and see us in languages or send us an email. Thank you.